Hey, in this video, we're going to talk about a few principles in the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Now, this book is very old-fashioned. A lot of the principles in it and a lot of the words, just the vocabulary that Napoleon uses are very old-fashioned. The first principle that I really got out of this book was the desire. If you want to get rich, you have to have a burning desire in you. And it will lead up into the second principle will make it very effective. And that is, you have to use auto-suggestions. Now this is basically, whatever environment you place yourself in, you're going to be, your subconscious mind is going to start taking in stuff. You need to put yourself in environments that will produce profit. Now, this isn't necessarily just profit as in money, I mean profit as in profit to your well-being will make you a better person. I heard once that you are an average of the five people that you spend most of your time around. So you can use this to your advantage. Take right now and write down a list of the top five people that you spend most of your time around and see, are they making you a better person? And also, Napoleon suggests that you should come up with a written statement, usually five or six sentences that basically sum up your purpose in life. And every day you need to read them out loud because they will be driven into your subconscious mind and every day it will get stronger and stronger and your subconscious mind will start picking up on things that will lead you to your goals. So principle number two is auto-suggestion. Put yourself in places that you will become profitable. And feed your mind with books and knowledge and reading and videos and people that are going to make you stronger and work harder and they're going to push you to grow rich. Now the third principle is called uh, the mastermind principle. And this is basically, you need to be around people who are going to help you. Basically, let's say that uh, there's one human and they meet another human who is the opposite sex and they get together and they mate and they have a baby. So what what kind of math is this? Generally this is one human plus one human equals three humans. And Napoleon Hill says that the same thing works with ideas. If you get one idea and you are around a person who has another idea, you're going to produce a third idea. And he says that it's actually exponential. If you get three ideas, three people together, you're gonna end up with maybe 20 new ideas. Imagine if you get five or six people together, you're gonna end up with hundreds of new ideas. And you have to use these ideas to become profitable. Now we're going to move on to the fourth principle, and that is specialized knowledge. And he gives this great example that Henry Ford was in this line of questioning. He, brought, he was brought in for questioning about the profitability of his company. Because he was making so much money, they thought he was doing dirty stuff. So they bring him in for questioning, and they start asking him a whole bunch of questions. And he, gets, he starts to get really upset. He said, if I should really want to answer the foolish questions you have just asked, or any of the other questions you have been asking me, let me remind you that I have a row of electric push buttons on my desk. And by pushing the right button, I can summon to my aid any man who can answer any question I desire to ask concerning the business to which I am devoting most of my efforts. And this is the part that really stood out to me. Now, will you kindly tell me why I should clutter up my mind with general knowledge for the purpose of being able to answer questions. And this is the basic fourth principle that I got from this book, which is specialized knowledge. Napoleon says in the book, knowledge has no value except that which can be gained from its application. So just knowing something doesn't make it profitable. You have to be able to apply it. And he basically goes into saying that this is why college degrees are going down in value, because anyone can get a college degree, but you have to be able to learn how to apply it correctly. And this goes with the statement that the more you learn, the more you earn. It's okay to have a lot of general knowledge, but if you're going to be an entrepreneur, or if you are wanting to grow rich, you need to have a little field of specialized knowledge that you know a lot in, or be in the position to get the general knowledge from someone else, like Google or a friend. And the fifth principle that I got from this book is persistence, and I have found this one to become extremely helpful in my situation. For example, this YouTube channel has been up for about two months. I have made, well I think, I believe that this is my 31st video, and I'm sticking with it. I'm trying to make at least three videos per week, high quality, adding value to other people's lives. And I have to stick with it. I know right now I'm only getting a couple hundred views per week, but I know in a couple months I'm going to be dominating if I keep up with this persistence. So let's go over and review the five principles that I got from this book. There are actually 13, but I got most value out of these five, and that is you have to have a burning desire, you need to use auto-suggestions for your benefit, put yourself in situations where you will gain, you have to have a mastermind, that means you have to have people around you that if you need to know something, you can learn it easily, 
You need to have some specialized knowledge, and you have to stay persistent. The basis of this book is that everyone has a brain, everyone can think, but you have to know how to think correctly in order to get rich. If you read all 13 chapters in this book, you will learn how to use your brain effectively. I hope this adds value to your life, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more!